Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at OwnCloud and we're going to look specifically at file sharing uh, through the web interface. Now what I will do is in a future screencast I'm going to show you how to do the file sharing through the Mac application for the desktop and for your iOS devices. But right now I just want to show you the different options that are available for file sharing with OwnCloud because uh, that is one of the primary features that's built into uh, the system itself. And you can see here that I'm logged into my OwnCloud instance and the first screen that I'm shown is the actual file screen itself. Now as we look at this interface you'll notice that we've got a sidebar here that will allow me to sort my different files by things like favorites or those that are shared with me, those I'm sharing with others, those that I'm sharing by a link that I created which I'll show you how to do in a minute and then the different tags that I might have for those files as well as any deleted files down here at the bottom. When I come over to the right here, you can see that I've got a documents folder, a photos folder, and then I've got the own cloud manual itself that's updated. You can see that this is an actual file, and these are folders right here. And you'll see as I hover over them, I've got different options. You notice here I've got a star where I can star uh, a particular folder, and that way when I do go to the favorites area here, it will only show me those different folders or documents that I've starred. Let me just go back to all files here. Uh, you'll also notice I got this little checkbox here, and so when I check that, notice that all of a sudden it says one folder has been selected, and I can actually download that entire folder right here just by clicking this link, uh, download it to my computer, or I can delete the folder right here uh, just by the selection. If I select more than one, you'll see now two are selected, so that whatever I do, it's going to be uh, enacted on these two folders, and so I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck those and put us back where we were. Now, as I come over, you notice that I've got some options here. Uh, right here, I have a, if I just click on this, I've got a sharing option. And you can see I get this slide out drawer that allows me to share. And so what I can do is I can share by the users and groups that I have connected with OwnCloud itself, or I can do a public link. And so let's say I want to share with a user that I've got. If I just go ahead and start typing in the name of somebody that I might have on my server, you can see that they come up. And if I just click this right here, you can see that it's going to now share that particular folder. And you can see it's got a shared icon there now. And it's being shared with this user. And I can determine whether I want this user to be able to share that themselves and whether they can edit it or not. And if I just click here, you see in the edits I can even specify whether they can create, change, or delete anything that's in the edit area there. And then if I just click on this it goes away. So that's a really nice way to be able to share. And you can see over here I can also delete that share whenever I want. So now what will happen is, is that user now will see this documents folder show up in their own cloud instance. It will just automatically show up there and they'll be set and ready to go. Now the other way I can share is also through a public link and what I can do here is create a public link if I just uh, click on that and you can see that uh, the, uh, the link's name I can make it whatever I want I can choose it to be read only, read and write, or upload only and so that would be the idea of just a file drop where they can put things into it but they can't actually get things out of it and then I can set up a password for it as well as an expiration date and once I do that then that link will be created and then I can share that link with whoever I want. Uh, so let's just go ahead and say documents link there. Uh, I can choose a password if I want one. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm just going to say a real short password and see when I go to expiration date, let's say I want to choose expiration of Friday or something like that. And then I can say save. And what it's going to do is save a public link. And you can see I've got this public link right here now for this particular file uh, folder. And you can see that it says it's shared now with a link. Now if I come over here, you'll see that I can copy the link to the clipboard, I can edit the link, and I can social share if I want to or I can delete it. And if I just uh, click on uh, social share, you can see all the different social sharing uh, sites that come up that I can share it with. And you can see Google Plus and uh, and things like uh, Facebook and Twitter and that sort of thing. So again, it's nice integration for those social services. I can also just come in here to edit and I can edit this at any time and uh, remove the password, that sort of thing, depending on what I want to do with that link. So now I've got a uh, public link that I've created that I can share so that people can get access to this folder as well. Now another thing you'll notice inside this uh, sidebar here is if I just go over here to comments, you'll notice that I can type a comment in here and post it. And so this is a little bit of a collaboration exercise here where we can collaborate about this particular folder. I can type in, uh, you know, let's just say nice folder, something like that. 
I can say post. So now what it's going to do is post that down here, shows when I posted it and all of that. And so then other people can then post below here as well, and we can comment back and forth on any work that we're doing. Uh, you can see if I want to edit the comment at any time, I can do it right here by editing it. If I want to delete it, I just hit delete, and now the comment disappears. So there is that level of collaboration. The other thing I can do is collaborate with tags, and so I can type in any tags that I want. And so I can say, let's say I put files in here, and I hit uh, return. And now files shows up right there for me, so that's all ready to go. And I can just put as many tags in as I want. I can put files, I'll put uh, important, let's say. We'll put that in there. And so we have all those things, and so I can just create these tags. Now once I create these tags, and once I create all these sharing instances over here, if I'm done with it, I can just close the window right here and everything comes back out. Now, if you look over here now, what happens is you can see I've got my favorites, which will show my documents folder. Shared with me, you'll see that there's nothing shared with me. Shared with others, you can see there's my documents folder that I've shared with others. And you can see the shared information right there, and I can get access to it. Shared by a link, again, that same folder, because I did share that by a link. And then tags. And so I can go to the tags that I want to filter by. So I can filter by files, and it's going to show me anything with that particular tag. I can uh, click off of it and then it disappears. So again, those are some of the options that I have to work with my different uh, files and documents. Now what I can also do is right here, if I just click on this, I can either upload uh, information or I can create a new folder. And so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, upload. I'm just going to hit upload. I get this drop down. Let's say I want to upload this image. I'm going to choose that image. And what it's going to do is upload it. And so there's my uh, JPEG that I just uploaded. So that's now on my own cloud instance. And we go to all my devices. If I uh, click on it, uh, let's see, if I just click on it here, you'll see I get this uh, slide out. And it shows me the photo up here. So I get an idea of what it is. And I have the same options over here, uh, with the exception that I do have versions. So if I've got different versions of this particular photo that I change, it will track those versions. Otherwise, everything else is the same over here. And if I just uh, click on this, I can download it. And you see it's downloaded it to my desktop now. And I have access to that photo on my computer. Uh, I can always just close this like anything else. So that's how that works with uploading folders, uh, files, I mean. Now I can also uh, create new folders on, on here. If I want to create a new folder for a project, let's say, and hit Enter. And so now it's going to create a project folder. To get into a folder, I just... Uh, I can uh, click on it right there. And then once I click into it, you can see that I have the different uh, files inside that particular folder. If I ever want to retrieve any deleted files, I can do that. So for instance, if I, if I uh, choose to, I can pull this one out and delete it. If I choose to delete this particular file, I can come over here. There's my details, which brings up the sidebar. I can rename it from here as well. You can see right there, I could rename the file. Let me just click on this. I can download it, and then of course I can delete it. And so I'm going to delete that squirrel file. But if I come down here to deleted files, it does have it in here so that I can restore it if I want to. And now it's restored the file. And if I go back to all files, I go back into photos, and I come in here, and you can see the squirrel file is back. Now, if at any time you want to see where your files are located that you have in own cloud, if you just go and open up an application like Transmit here that shows hidden files, you'll see we have this own cloud Docker folder right here. If you just click into that and click into data, you can see here's my user with his information. There's my admin. If I just click into that, and you can see here are the files that I've got. And so these are the various files that we have there. Again, if I go into photos, you can see there's the three photos that we were just talking about. And I can also see things like uh, the, the trash bin and all that kind of stuff. So that's where you would find the actual files and that's where they're stored on your server itself. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.